Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are back in this kitchen that you saw me doing a first fix a uh, couple of videos back. I'll leave a link for it up here in the corner. Uh, so we're back here now, we're doing the second fix um, and it's going very well. We are, uh, we're getting there. The sockets and everything are all in and the next thing we're about to do battle with, well I'm going to do battle with the undercovered lights and Tom can do the difficult bit of putting the ceiling lights in. Uh, but it's going all right. So these are the few spurs that you saw me cutting the bat boxes out in the very first video. So those are all in now and I've just marked them up individually, what they are. Uh, I've got to chase it out a little bit more to go up there for the cupboard. We're 100% sure where this cupboard was going, the height of it. So I've got to chase that up a little bit, but it doesn't really matter because this is all being tiled here anyway. So it doesn't really matter. The uh, socket for the hood is in. Uh, it's just hiding behind that bit of uh, ducting. So that's in, ready to go. There's another, that's another uh, undercovered light each side. There'll be a little transformer in the corner here, um, just powering a little LED strip. In fact, this is the uh, transformer here. It came with the kitchen, uh, so the kitchen company supplied it. So I can't say I've heard of, uh, can't say I've heard of Snappy, but there you go. So they've got to go in. So we'll chase that up a little bit and then this will all be, the, I think the tiles are ending about here somewhere. So any damage we create in that corner, it won't matter because they'll be tiling up to it. Uh, down here, same sort of thing again, we've got a USB socket. Uh, ah, that reminds me actually. Now in one of the previous videos we were, I was just, I was talking about these USB sockets. Um, and this is another, this is another one here. This is a different brand this time, but this is another one here. And uh, I've got the instruction manual here because a lot of you were asking about whether you can insulation test socket, these USB sockets once you fitted them. Because obviously if you're doing something like an EICR or a periodic as they used to be known, to start disconnecting USB sockets, I mean, you know, I mean, there's a house that just fitted uh, and every single socket had one of these. So I mean, to start doing insulation testing, I mean, it's just, you know, it's a non-starter. However, I'm just looking at the manual in this one and it says, this USB socket is designed to withstand insulation resistance tests at 500 volts. A reading of 10 mega ohms minimum is typically caused by this socket. So it would appear that this particular brand, this is, um, British General, I think. Um, and it would appear that this particular brand can withstand uh, insulation testing at 500 volts and it will give you a reading of 10 mega ohms. Um, however, that's not the case on all of them because I know that there was, uh, there were a couple of brands which I fitted uh, and I think it just, it varies between manufacturers, I think. Uh, this particular one lets you do insulation testing, but uh, obviously you're not going to get plus 299 or whatever it is, you know, whatever the preferred reading it is that you like to aim for. So yeah, thought I'd share that. Uh, there was one random socket in the corner there because I think there's a little, uh, I think there's a little breakfast bar going here in the corner. I, I think, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but they just, they specifically requested one to go in this corner. In fact, this was the corner you saw me chasing the wall out here. So under the, this is in the oven cutout. So those are the recessed uh, plugs that you saw me cutting in. And there'll be two single sockets going in there. One will be for the ignition and one will be for the oven. When I was in the wholesale and I was buying these little USB sockets, you can buy these little, I've never seen them. They're these little shelves that you just, uh, you clip above. You basically clip these in when you put the, when you fix the socket back to the wall. Uh, but it's such a simple idea and I've never really, never really thought about it until I saw the product and I thought it was quite a clever idea actually. Because you, once you've, uh, I'm leaving these actually off the wall because they're tiling. Uh, but once this goes back on, it just slides on like that. And you just screw the, you screw the machine screws up and that's it. Then it just gives you a little, a little ledge which you can just put your mobile phone on if the I mean, in fact to be honest it's ideal for uh, situations like over there where you just got one random socket and you just you haven't got anywhere to put the phone so things like this are I think they're brilliant little inventions actually someone's it's an everyday problem which someone's thought about and they've just come up with a neat little solution but I quite liked it I thought it was a you know neat little idea there they are got them that's the next set lovely okay now we're on a roll. We are. But yeah, hold but the hold the champagne. Hold the champagne. <laughs> we haven't cut them all out yet.
I'm surprised you wouldn't join that as a full-time job. I mean, on the outside, anyway, I'm surprised you. It's okay. It is, like I say, it was, it was a good change from doing pack testing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You need something... To break that monotony, because that really is... Yeah, honestly. That really is extreme. No, knowing that on a Friday night you're going to be out in a police car and blue lights and... Yeah, it's a bit of action in an otherwise dull... dull job. Exactly. No, I don't mind this job. And I don't, you know... I mean, I do enjoy it. It's, you know... There are far worse jobs out there... Oh, God, you yeah. ...you can be doing, you know. It's, so when I look at it from that angle, it's not all that bad. No. You know? But pack testing for a job, fuck, I couldn't do it. Nice. Every day. It is awful. It's awful. It really is. But... Alright, that undercovered light should work. <laughs> Does it fuck? Check the switches, the uh, RCD tripped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. Yay! Alright, that's one done. Tom is, or well, Dave, I should say, is currently in the van trying to find a maintenance free junction box. Good luck, because it's an absolute shit pit that van at the moment. Yeah, I knew that was one in you there. You found one? Yeah. Okay, no. I knew there was one in there. You right. found one? Alright. <laughs> you know, when I packed it earlier, I know where a few things are now. But I've been trying to keep them in their rightful homes and all that. Yeah, I noticed you moved all of the uh, hole saws around. I went in there earlier looking for them, I couldn't find them. <laughs> What's the name of those people that do that dance, you know, where they get a pole? And they have to shoot Limbo. Up. What? Limbos. Limbo, yeah, you've got to be a fucking limbo dance to do this job. This is the thing, you, you find the most awkwardest positions that are just right to do the job, Just though. right to do the job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate throwing strips of LED away, you know, it's like a, a meter long strip, but where else am I going to use it in that particular, where, where else am I going to use it in that particular colour? I'm exactly. probably not, that's the problem. How long has this taken? What time did we get here? What time is it now? It's, um, we'll say about quarter to eight now, isn't it? Somewhere around there. It's taken about... Quarter to eight. What time did we get here? We finished... What's her face, is it? <laughs> What's her face? We finished What's Her Face is at what, about midday by yeah, the time I pulled 12. away from there? I couldn't have done it on my own today, is the main thing. I'd never have got this done on my own. Because yeah. in fact, I've been doing everything. In fact, you've done all the downlights. So I, haven't, I wouldn't even have started the downlights yet. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't even have started these yet. It's true. So. Yeah, that'd be what nice. time is it? Time. It is. Point four four. Quarter past eight. Okay, now. All right. Well, we've had a productive day. Yeah, it's finished. That's it, we're done. Exactly, we're done here. This job is done. What's the faces in Royal Oak is done. Yeah. Those are the two big jobs we had to get finished. Those are done now. So all we've got left is... Bell we've got Bell and Size and... And, um... Ellison. That's it. Not too bad. All right. I'll do the ZS and the other sockets. Let's get the fuck out of here. That would be nice. Shut Before up. we go anywhere... Yeah. For your hard efforts, I bought you a new impact. That's your first impact. Oh, really? Yeah. No way. Oh, thank you, Tom. I'll get you hooked on Milwaukee. Oh, I love it. It's, I'm not being fair, it's a better... <laughs> I came through the mail. It's a better model than my one. You see my old one, the one that I've got, it's the yeah. older model. That's the successor to the model that I've got, but it's, uh, it's a lovely bit of kit. Yeah, it is. Thank you so much. There you go. That's your... Your first quality tool. Yeah. I'm going to brand TW on the back <laughs> of it so I know it doesn't get swapped yeah. out. Yeah, you'll have to burn it into the back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, lovely. Thank you. It's oh, a nice bit of kit. It is. Enjoy it, mate. Thank you. There, it's chubbed. Good. <laughs> Fuck me, that made me, that scared me. <laughs> Thought we'd locked, left the keys inside last thing at night. You've dead bolted the door, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Got it. All right. Sure, by the way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we've got time for. We're done. That is one more refit finitoed. So, 
if you would like to subscribe to this channel you need to be clicking i'm going to say in this corner and if you want to watch another video it's probably going to cover my face but somewhere here cool that'll do patrons we're going to put patron down here today and, and comments, comments in below down below thank you very much for watching we'll see you next week see you guys